In this presentation, we will present the three states of matter, which are solid, liquid, and gas. So we have three states of matter, which are the solid state, the liquid state, and the gas state. Let's start with the solid state. Everything around us is made up from tiny particles. These are too small for us to see. In a solid, as we can observe in this animation, each particle is touching its neighboring particles, so they are closely packed to each other. In addition to that, the particles are vibrating. So this is a model of the particles in a solid state. The particles are closely packed to each other and they are vibrating. Decide whether the following statements about particles in a solid are true or false. They are motionless, they are vibrating, they have large spaces between them, and they are very close together. Which statements are true and which are false? Excellent! So, let's observe again the model of the particles in the solid state. It's clear that they are vibrating, so they are not motionless. And they are closely packed to each other, so they are very close together, and there are no large spaces between them. Let's now describe the liquid state. Actually, the particles in a liquid are also very close together. Like the particles in a solid, they touch neighboring particles. However, unlike those in a solid, the particles don't just vibrate and remain fixed in position. They also move around. This means that, unlike in a solid, the particles do not form a regular pattern. So these are the particles in a liquid state. They are vibrating and moving around. Let's label each of these statements as a true or false. Take two minutes to label them and then we will discuss the answers. Excellent! So liquids occupy only a slightly greater volume than the same mass of a solid. So the volume will be slightly greater and not much greater. And the particles will move around in a random manner. So as we can observe in this model, they are not moving in a repeating manner. Instead, they will move in a random manner and they will still be close to each other. But of course, the spacing now between the particles is greater than that of a solid. And finally, let's examine the particles of gases. The particles in a gas have a lot of space between them. They zoom around in a random manner, colliding with the walls of their container and with each other. And as in the liquid, the particles do not form any regular pattern. So here we have particles in the gas state. Notice how they are moving around. They are colliding with each other and with the walls of the container. And they are far from each other. Label each of these statements as a true or false, and then we will discuss them together. Excellent! So particles of a gas occupy a much greater volume than the same mass of the liquid. And this is because they move around rapidly and in a random manner. But of course, these are particles, and thus they have a mass.